Well, welcome back. It is National Chili Dog Day. And of course, chili dogs are known here in Michigan, but specifically Detroit. And we are talking about a 100 year old sauce from a restaurant based in the Detroit area. Both of you um, from that restaurant, Red Hots, thank you so much for joining us this You're morning. More than of course. Welcome. Of course. And so, uh, Richard, tell us a little bit about kind of how you got your start here in the chili industry. Well, my great uncle from Greece came here and he worked at Ford Motor Company, the first assembly plant they had in Michigan. And he could speak several different languages. And he used to tell the other foreigners how to do their job in their language. <laughs> After a couple, three years, he went back to Greece, got his wife. They landed in New York. She seen the sign that said Coney Island. They came here because it is a Greek sauce. And they started doing hot dogs. And when they first opened, it was called the dog place. And the foreigners and the other people thought they're killing dogs. And, and so they changed it to uh, Coney Island. And uh, that's, we got the name Red Hots started. Red Hots Coney Island. And I was there 55 years. I retired. My daughter didn't want the chili recipe to die. So it's on her right now. She's working me like a, you know what. And now, Christina, you took the business and kind of expanded it quite a bit. Um, and so first I want to talk about, you know, how to make a chili dog, because of course that is so important when learning how to use the sauce. Of course, <laughs> yeah. So a Detroit style Coney is a steam bun, a grilled dog. We always do the mustard first because we don't want you to taste the mustard. We want you to taste the chili. Then your chili sauce. And then, of course, some finely diced onions. Oh my goodness, it looks fantastic. And that's considered one upper, one with everything. And that's the Detroit chili dog right there. That is it. And so talk a little bit about what makes a good sauce. Um, you know, you guys have this fantastic sauce that you've continued on with the business. And so how do you guys determine, you know, what you need for that? We have a lot of pride in this sauce and our recipe. We use real ground chuck, real onion, real garlic, no preservatives, no additives, no coloring. So for us, it's a fresh option for customers and it's refrigerated um, and it's never been frozen. So they can always freeze it if they don't finish it. And now you've expanded here to West Michigan. You're going to be selling at Bridge Street Market. We are. Uh, what does it mean, you know, to see this kind of continue on that legacy that your family has created here? Oh, she's uh, done a heck of a job. I got to give it all to her. She's pushed it everywhere. So, um, it, it's been kudos to my daughter. Thank you. It's been fun because the Coney Island itself was fun, and it was such a gem that without my dad being there, there's no way I could have continued it mm -hmm. just because it was its own unique place. So this was really my avenue to continue our family tradition, but just do it in a little different way. And then bringing it here to West Michigan, you know, we don't really have a true Coney place here that you can get a Detroit chili dog. So to bring that, people can make it at home. Is that your goal when bringing it over here to the side of the state? Yeah, and I was just uh, mentioning to someone earlier, when I do demos, I, when I started over here, it really is an unfamiliar concept. So it's been fun teaching people about a new food that we're bringing from Detroit. All right, and so now it is located at Bridge Street Market. People can go purchase it. Yep. Right now, what does uh, one container cost? Um, I think they're running them for eight ninety nine, dollars okay. and it's a one pound refrigerated container, bottom shelf, always by the hot dogs. And use as much as you can, and that's the goal there. That, right? that is, use it all. <laughs> it's all. You know what? It's all ground chuck. You yeah. can put on french fries, hamburger, hot dogs. Uh, they used to call it a chili mac, they would pour it over spaghetti. Yeah. And they, uh, the older people used to call it a chili mac. But just remember one thing. The mustard goes on first on that hot dog. All right, that's the key there. If you are going to make a Detroit chili dog here, you have to put the mustard on first. That's what he says. So for now, we will send it back to you guys reporting live out here outside the studio. Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.